You know, we're just a postage stamp on the big Texas map. But is our postage stamp? They do have the right to take you in, but they don't have the right to take advantage of you. We were never given a contract. The landman told us he didn't do contracts. What we were told was one thing and what actually happened was another thing. We were told that this was going to keep our pasture pristine. Over the months that they were here with the trucks that ran up and down our pasture, it was decimated. The initial offers were terribly low. The more we have studied this, we find out that's what happens everywhere. And the thing is, some people go for that. And that's a shame because they're taking advantage of people that don't know what their rights are. Obviously, they're not going to come up to what's really reasonable. Uh, so they come back with a, what they call a final offer. It makes it look like they're suing you for $100,000. That's not the case, but that's the way the verbiage looks. So it scares you. I'll never understand why they can come and do this destruction on your property without even an easement and no compensation and no understanding that you'll get any of that. The, the way it's set up, it is not fair to the landowner. The landowner doesn't have an equal shot or a chance to stand up and say, no, that's not fair, and to negotiate something that is fair. For me, it's lack of communication. And disrespect, lack of telling the truth. Being uh, misled, misrepresented with no moral compass. We don't want to be victims. We want to be partners right. because we are for uh, Texas energy. Yes. And uh, we we're West system. Texans, we understand that. But this is beyond uh, comprehension that they would allow these things to happen to the landowners. So that's what's hard. I know Texas is better than that because it's been in our family 95 years and I'm trying to be a good steward and I feel like I've failed. <laughs>